yes uh good evening uh good evening aditya good evening so uh yeah before starting the session uh just give me a thumbs up that the audio and visuals are perfectly fine yeah just just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that the audio and visuals are perfectly fine right so yes angel matthews aditya raghunath good evening beta satyashree good evening ahmed abukar good evening sushantika good evening beta good evening good evening akash deep okay yes good afternoon right here in uganda okay <laughs> Check. perfect perfect guys so i hope the audio and visuals are perfectly fine so today beta we are going to start with the anatomy of the duodenum okay i will be discussing the entire duodenum in one shot okay uh Ian Thakur, good evening. Rutika, good evening. Yes. You can get the slides beta on the Telegram group. Yeah. Nicola, yeah, greetings from Serbia. Very good. Okay. Good after afternoon, beta. So let us start with the topics that I will be discussing in this particular session. So you should be aware of that, that I will be discussing that the site, okay, the shape. The beginning of the duodenum, where the duodenum ends, okay, the length and the parts of the duodenum. We already know we have four parts of the duodenum the first part, the second part, the third part, and the fourth part. But in each part, the relations are very, very important. Nowadays, in, um, in the recent NEAT PG exam, also, what I have seen that they have asked the relations of like the parts of the duodenum, right? So uh, I will be focusing uh, in detail about the parts of the duodenum, okay, the relations specifically. Apart from that, I will be discussing a suspensory muscle of the duodenum, also called as the ligament of trees, right? Apart from that, what uh, like the same thing that we discuss in every particular organ, that is the arterial supply, the venous supply, the lymphatic drainage, the nerve supply, and um, after that, I will be discussing the core histological part, okay, the interior of the duodenum, the interior of the duodenum, right? So let us, let us just start with the small intestine first, just giving a very brief introduction, guys. In one slide only, you already know the small intestine basically comprises of three parts. Can anyone tell me the three parts in the chat box? What are the three parts of the small intestine? Meanwhile, you should know that, <clears throat> yes. You already know that this is the stomach and stomach will end at the pylorus part, right? It will end at the pylorus part. And yes, the beginning of the small intestine or the first part of the small intestine, it is the duodenum, right? It is the duodenum. And you, everyone knows that it is the pylorodeutinal junction where the beginning will start of the small intestine. Yes, it is the pylorodeutinal junction okay it is the pyloro duodenal junction very good ahmad abukar very good aditya very good it is the duodenum jejunum yeah and ileum yes aditya yes tanya very good beta perfect perfect beta now beta termination kya hoga? obviously you already know we have the duodenum which is a c-shaped organ that we are going to discuss in detail today right it is a c-shaped organ okay and everyone knows that the stomach ends at the pylorus part. So from the pyloroduodenal junction, the beginning of the duodenum will start and it is the first part of the small intestine. Then we have the second part of the small intestine, that is the jejunum. And the third one, that is the ileum, that is the ileum. So we have duodenum, jejunum and ileum. So the termination beta, it is actually taking place at a point over here and that point it is called at the ileocecal junction so the termination it is at the yes it is at the ileocecal junction and remember it is the junction where it forms or where it joins the cecum right where it joins the cecum so it's the small intestine starts from the pylorodeutinal junction and it ends at the ileocecal junction. And everyone knows that what is the position, beta? Can anyone tell me what is the position? Yes, you should know when I was discussing the sagittal section, beta. 
सेजाइटल सेक्शन में ग्रेटर सैक के दो कंपार्टमेंट्स बताए थे या वी हैव द सुपरा कोले कंपार्टमेंट एंड द इंफ्रा कोले कंपार्टमेंट नाउ माय क्वेश्चन टू यू गाइस इज व्हिच कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ ग्रेटर सैक विल बी लाइक वेयर द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन विल बी प्रेजेंट ग्रेटर सैक का व्हिच कंपार्टमेंट इट विल बी टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स एवरीवन टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स या चलिए Yes, very good, Anushka. Perfect, beta. It is the infracolic compartment of the greater sac. Ah, I have told you earlier. Mesentery of the small intestine. I have shown you. It is the infracolic compartment of greater sac. Yes, it is the infracolic compartment of the greater sac. And you already know that the small intestine. Okay, mention some extra points over here. That the small intestine. It is 21 feet or 6.5 meter long okay it is 21 feet or 6.5 meter long yes shiv good evening everyone is right aditya divya sushantika toki good evening rishi raj good day good day beta greetings yeah fun mode good evening good evening beta it is 6.5 meter long okay so you should remember that we have three parts the duodenum the duodenum which is approximately 25 cm okay which is approximately 25 cm jejunum which is 2.5 meters again beta it is meters and ileum that is approximately 3.7 meters and remember beta I will be discussing jejunum and ileum in the upcoming sessions, but you should be aware of the fact that they both are having mesentery. They both are having mesentery, and this mesentery is helping them, uh, the jejunum and the ileum part, to attach to the posterior abdominal wall. Okay. So yes, jejunum and ileum will have. mesentery which will help them to attach to the posterior abdominal wall so this was a little bit about the small intestine this was little bit about the small intestine yeah jabas uh, good evening yeah so let us let us now start with the duodenum beta duodenum so beta remember that the duodenum the duodenum it is the shortest part okay of the small intestine obviously according to the length if you see it is the shortest path so yes it is the shortest it is the widest and most fixed part of small intestine it is the most fixed part of small intestine small intestine now beta while looking at the diagram while looking at the diagram can anyone tell me beta duodenum is present in which abdominal regions now this i have already told you that i will this question will remain the same duodenum i am just highlighting it with black color so that you can easily tell me ki majority of the duodenum it is present in which region beta hmm so you can all see this particular duodenum over here right so you can see this duodenum and you are already aware of yeah so can anyone tell me where this is actually present yeah umbilical ahmed abukar very good anushka very good it is the umbilical region beta dekho ye wala jo region hai ye to umbilical hai kyunki yahan pe umbilicus dikh raha hai this is the umbilicus theek hai aur umbilical region mein ye aapko dekhne ko mil raha hai umbilical aur थोड़ा सा पार्ट आपको कहा देखने को मिल रहा है एपी गैस्ट्रिक रीजन में थोड़ा सा पार्ट कहा देखने को मिल रहा है अम्बलिकस के ऊपर क्या होता है एपी गैस्ट्रिक अम्बलिकस के नीचे क्या होगा हाइपो गैस्ट्रिक राइट सो ऑब्वियसली वी कैन नॉट सी एनीथिंग इन द हाइपो गैस्ट्रिक पार्ट बट वी आर एबल टू सी इट इन दी गैस्ट्रिक एंड द अम्बलिकल रीजन सो ऑब्वियसली द साइट इज वेरी मच क्लियर इट इज द एपी गैस्ट्रिक रीजन इट इज द एपी गैस्ट्रिक एंड umbilical regions now when i say umbilical region beta remember it is above the level of umbilicus okay it is above the level of umbilicus 
it is above the level of umbilicus now can anyone tell me what is the shape of this particular which english alphabet it is which english alphabet it is <coughs> Yes, Tanya, very good. Toki, very good. Anushka, very good. Fanmoot, Kriti, Javas, very good. Sethi, Usman, Aditya, very good. Beta. It is C shaped. Beta. It is C shaped loop. Okay, it is the C shaped loop. These are all one one mark questions, right? These are all one one liner questions. Okay, and remember, Beta, <clears throat> it will surround the head of the pancreas. It will surround head of pancreas and i have already told you in my previous lecture that pancreas is present in the arms of the duodenum pancreas kuch is tarike se present the uncinate process the head and this is like this right so pancreas is present in the arms of the duodenum and that's why it is called as the romance of the duodenum in the body and that's why it is called as the romance of the duodenum in the body. Very good, Peter. It surrounds the head of the pancreas and that is the romance of the duodenum. Now, can anyone tell me the beginning of the duodenum? I have just told you right now. Can anyone tell me the beginning of the duodenum? Peter, it is a like <coughs> mutual uh, lecture. You reply to and I will write. Again, I will write it again. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Sethi Osman. Yeah, second part of stomach. I don't understand. No, Pyloric part. Sethi Osman, it is right. Beta, yes. It is, yeah. It begins at the pyloric end of the stomach. It begins at pyloric end of stomach. Okay. Now, pyloric end of stomach. Now, you guys will tell me. You guys will tell me if suppose this is the median plane. Okay. If suppose this is the median plane. Now it will be right or left to the median plane. Tell me. The beginning of the duodenum will be right or left to the median plane. Again, guys, you have to be very much clear about the right and left of the body. Right. This is the right and this is the left. And you can see. If suppose this is the median plane, everyone is right. Anushka, Jabas, Priti, Aditya, very good, beta, very good. If this is the median plane, beta, you are very much aware of the fact that it is approximately half inch, okay? Half inch right to the median plane, okay? Exactly, it is half inch right to the median plane. So it begins at the pyloric end of the stomach, right? And it is half inch right. To median plane it is half inch right to median plane right now it ends at duodenum ke baad beta kya aata hai duodenum ke baad aata hai jejunum aur jejunum ke baad kya aata hai ileum so duodenum will end at yeah duodenum will end at a flexion can anyone tell me the name of the flexion yes tanya tanya you are right but i want the name of the flexion yes jejunum hai yeah very close yes <laughs> Shall you? It will end at, yeah, it will end at the, batao, batao, duodeno. Yes, very good, very good fun mode. It is duodeno jejunal flexion. Obviously, baat hai. okay, duodeno jejunal flexion. And now, guys, tell me, duodeno jejunal flexion will be, uh, okay. It will be right or towards the left. It is one inch. Tell me, guys, you don't know general flexure. Ye hoga? Ye wala part hoga, which I'm highlighting. So you midline say approximately it is yeah, one inch, yeah, left to the median plane. Yes, it is one inch left to the median plane. Very good. Show it very good. Aditya, very good. Yeah. Right, right, right. I hope the site is clear. It is the epigastric and the umbilical region and mostly it is above the level of the umbilicus. Shape, C-shape. Bikan ka hota hai pyloric end. End kaha pe hota hai due to gestional flexion. Itna clear ho kya jaldi se ek thumbs up deno chat box me. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat box. So yes. So we have discussed the small intestine in short about the due the side shape beginning and the end part. Now coming on to the length and parts. Yes, angel, talkie, kriti, piyush, very good. 
वेरी गुड अनुष्का वेरी गुड चलिए सत्यश्री आदित्य शोएब वेरी गुड शांतिका संजना तानिया वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड नाउ बेटा नाउ वील ड्रॉ वन डायग्राम बेटा यू ऑलरेडी नो या यू आर वेरी वेल अवेयर दैट वी हैव फोर पार्ट ऑफ द न्यूटन so let us let us just try to draw that four parts and in one diagram i will explain all the parts and now beta remember that this is the l1 vertebra lumbar 1 vertebra okay this is lumbar 2 vertebra okay this is lumbar 2 vertebra yes and this is the lumbar 3 vertebra this is lumbar 3 vertebra right so now if i just want to draw this uh, yes duodenum so remember that the duodenum is somewhat like this okay just in front of these vertebra you will find this duodenum like this can anyone tell me in the chat box how many parts of duodenum are there can anyone tell me in the chat box how many parts of the duodenum are there so it is like this beta yeah <clears throat> now beta the one which i'm highlighting right now yes the one which i'm highlighting right now yes it is the first part of the duodenum it is the first part of the duodenum everyone is right everyone is right Yes, Priti, Panmur, Tanya, Divya, Anushka, Satyashri, Sethi, Tof, Tokir, Aditya, Sanjana, Jabas, Piyush, Perik. So the one which I'm highlighting, remember, beta, it is the first part of the duodenum. So let us let us have some info regarding the first part of the duodenum. So yes, I just want to mention it. Hmm. So yes, again in the same diagram, you should mention everything. It is the first. part of duodenum now first part of duodenum it is approximately 5 cm long and this first part it lies opposite beta which vertebra just see the diagram and tell me it is lying opposite which vertebra beta so yes it lies opposite yes it lies opposite the first lumbar vertebra yes kriti very good sethi usman very good it lies opposite the first lumbar vertebra chal to so, ye thoda sa humne pad liya first part of duodenum now beta coming on to the second part of the duodenum beta coming on to the second part of the duodenum so you are very well aware that the second part of the duodenum it is vertical or horizontal guys tell me the second part of the duodenum it is vertical or horizontal tell me guys hmm chali ha sab ka sahi hai sab ka sahi hai no doubt yes ha vertical ha 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 chal theek hai landmarks bhi dekhenge abhi kahan se kahan tak present hai so no need to worry at all ki ek ek part ko detail mein discuss karna hai so we have the second part of the duodenum second part of the duodenum and remember beta this extends from it extends from l1 okay at the level of l1 to yes everyone is right beta it extends from l1 to l3 vertebra can anyone tell me uh what is the length okay can anyone tell me what is the length of the second part of the duodenum extension to chalo pata chal gaya wo to dikh hi raha hai l1 se l3 tak hai but what is the length guys what is the length anyone who would like to tell me what is the length of this yes it is hmm yes it is yeah 8 to 10 cm probably i'm like taking a mean over here it is 7.5 cm it can vary beta it can be from 8 to 10 cm also for note no no doubt 
Java's Pandra nahi hota hai beta. It is approximately 7.5 on an average, but yeah, it can vary from 8 to 10. Okay. Now coming on to the third part of the duodenum. The third part of duodenum ki length bata. Now tell me the length of the third part of the duodenum beta. Yeah, the third part of the duodenum. So you are very well aware that this is the third hmm, part of duodenum. This is the third part of the duodenum. Yeah, everyone is right. Okay, Jam, uh, Aditya, uh, yeah. One more, Tanya, please. Okay, nahi mera. Third part of duodenum, it is the largest part of the duodenum. It is the largest part and remember, uh, when I say largest or largest, uh, better word would be longest part. Ah, the better word would be the longest part because it is approximately 10 centimeter. Okay. It is nearly 10 centimeter. The second part can vary up to 10 centimeter. Okay. Yes. And remember it is horizontally present. It is horizontally present at level of L3. It is horizontally present at the level of L3 vertebra. It is horizontally present at the level of L3 vertebra. Now beta, coming on to the fourth part of the, yeah, coming on to the fourth part. Can anyone tell me what will be the length of the fourth part of the duodenum? Okay, can anyone tell me what will be the length of the fourth part of the duodenum? It is the shortest one, guys. It is the shortest one. And I want everyone of you to answer this question. Yes, Tanya, very good. Fun mode, very good. It is 2.5 centimeter, beta. So remember, beta, it is the fourth part of the duodenum. Fourth part of the duodenum. And remember, beta, yeah, it ascends. Okay. Now, beta, ye dekho, ye upar ki taraf ja hai. Upar ki taraf, anything which goes above, we write it as ascending, right? So remember beta, it ascends from, it ascends from L3 to L2 vertebra. It will try to reach the L2 vertebra, okay? And remember the fourth part of duodenum being the shortest in length, it is 2.5 centimeter long and that is the shortest part of the duodenum. That is the shortest part of the duodenum. I hope this is clear to everyone. The diagram, the length and the parts, the length and the parts. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat box, guys, that you are now aware of the fact that we have to discuss four parts. The first part of the duodenum, right? The fourth part of the duodenum. Pretty very good. The third part of the duodenum, okay, and the second part. So I hope everything is clear. Shelly, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, Kriti, Satyashri, Aditya, Toki, Rangel, Tanya, Divya, Nitin, Sanjana, Anakala. Very good, Pita. Very good. I hope this is clear. Chill. Now, starting with the first part of the duodenum, Pita. First part of the duodenum. Okay. Now, ab if the answer is jao fill in the blanks, I have just discussed this. If I talk first part, ki baat karu, so you already know, I am just talking about this particular part. I'm just talking about this particular part. So it begins as a continuation of which, okay, as a continuation of, yeah, you guys will tell me it begins as a continuation of what? Stomach ka konsa part hai which will end to form the, yes, pyloric end of the stomach. Tanya, very good, fun mode, very good. It begins as a continuation, yeah, of the pylorus. And you already know it is, half inch to the right of the median plane at the level of which vertebra beta at the level of which vertebra tell me the answer beta over here it is at the level of which vertebra yes pretty very good beta it is at the level of l1 vertebra and you already know here the pylorus of the stomach lies and that's why it is called as the transpyloric plane and hence it is called as the transpyloric plane now coming on to the end part beta, coming on to the end part. Now it will end to close to the neck of the gallbladder. It will, yeah, it will end at, yeah, close to 
the neck of the gall bladder i will i will draw the picture for you no need to worry nahi beta hum sirf abhi first part ki baat kar rahe the now we are just talking about the first part right now first part means i'm just talking about this particular part <coughs> i'm talking about this particular part so beta yahan pe na you will see this uh, yeah gall bladder and you will find the neck of the gall bladder where the first part will end okay where the first part will end right tanya ha beta very good i hope you understood it ends close to the neck of the gall bladder by curving downwards to become the second part theek hai now beta peritoneal connections are important the first inch okay if i talk about the first inch ab ye first part hai beta first part ki agar baat kare aur first inch ki baat kare theek hai first inch is completely uh, covered by peritoneum and gives attachment to the okay now tell me beta upar ki taraf kya present hai okay yeah it upar ki taraf kaun sa omentum present hota hai tell me guys which omentum is present upwards yes we have the lesser omentum yes we have the lesser omentum okay above yeah we have the lesser omentum above yeah and greater omentum below and we have the greater omentum below and remember the second inch dekho first inch ye ho gaya second inch it is covered by peritoneum only in front and above okay okay it is covered by peritoneum only in front and above let us let us look at this picture guys let us look at this picture <coughs> now you can easily easily uh, what beta we have done we have just tried to remove the gall bladder and the part of the liver okay so that you can see the duodenum so that you can see the duodenum over here okay so that you can see the duodenum over here okay humne wo dekho usko liver ke is part ko aur gall bladder ko upar utha ke dikhaya i have just tried to pull it up and just try to show you okay just try to show you can anyone yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah everyone is right peritoneum ठीक है ठीक है हा बेटा ये कौन सा ओमेंटम है द वन विच आई एम मार्किंग विथ ए कैन एनी वन टेल मी विच ओमेंटम इज दिस एंड विच ओमेंटम इज दिस बी ए एंड बी जल्दी से बताओ चार्ट बॉक्स में ए एंड बी विच ओमेंटम आर दिस चल हा हा ग्रेटर ए है लेसर बी है वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड ओके नो बेटा यू कैन इजिली सी ओके हा देखो हमने लेबर को और गोल ब्लैटर को उठाया है तो ऑब्वियसली बात है हम विशल सरफेस देखने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द क्वाड्रेट लोब ऑफ द लेवर ओके दिस इज द क्वाड्रेट लोब ऑफ द लेवर एंड दिस बेटा विच इज मार्क्ट ओवर हियर yeah this is the neck of the gall bladder we have just pull it up okay and i have just tried to show you it is the neck of the gall bladder right now let us let us uh, let us just try to draw this diagram beta let us just try to draw this diagram khud bhi mat padho aur dusro ko bhi mat padhne do God of War. मतलब uh, I personally don't have time to intervene you. Otherwise, yeah, I would have done that. So better uh, kindly don't concentrate upon him and just concentrate over here, beta. So yes. क्या ही बोलूँ मैं? मतलब मेरे पास ना शब्द खत्म हो जाते हैं तुम लोगों को बोलने के लिए. So yeah. Now, beta. Let us let us just try to see the uh, first part relations. okay ha ah, you are right you are right beta no need to worry yes you are right let us let us just draw it and finalize the relations of the first part now beta you are very well aware suppose this is the first part okay this is the first part of the duodenum now 
I've drawn the second part, but obviously there is no need over here of the second part as well. So yes, two structures I have already told you guys. Two structures I have already told you. Can you tell me anteriorly what what it will be there? Anteriorly what it will be there? Yes, <coughs> yes. You can see the gallbladder, beta. Gallbladder. This picture, me, we have just pulled it up. Otherwise, it is there in front of this uh, first part, the neck of the gallbladder, right? The neck of the gallbladder. Okay. Now, can anyone tell me what is the duct of the gallbladder? I want to ask you one question. What is the duct of the gallbladder, beta? Yeah. Tell me. So it will end into a duct. Yes. Ha, chalo, very good. Anushka, Tanya, very good, very good. Yeah, ha, toki, okay, cystic duct. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you already know that suppose this is the gall bladder, and yeah, this is the cystic duct. Okay, this is the cystic duct. Okay, now, <coughs> now. Cystic duct will combine with which duct to form the common bile duct? Again, a question. Cystic duct will combine with which yeah, duct to form the common bile duct? My question to everyone. Chal. Ha. Jaldi batao. Yes, hepatic duct, common hepatic duct. Very good, Tanya. Very good, Anushka. Very good. So obviously cystic duct will combine with these are uh, yeah and it will continue as yeah yes we have this okay now my question to you is this cystic duct okay when it combines with the hepatic duct to form the common bile duct, it will go in front or behind the first part of the duodenum. It will go in front or behind the first part of the duodenum. Batao jaldi se. That's why erase erase the image. Yes. Hmm. Yes, one more. Very good. Very good, beta. Very good. It will go behind, yes, it will go behind the first part of the duodenum. It will go behind the first part of the duodenum. Okay. Now, this is, this is, you already know, it is the common bile duct. Common bile duct. Let us, let us just draw this diagram. And after that, you guys are going to tell me anterior, kya hai, posterior, kya hai, what, what are the structures present? You already know we have a structure that is called as the celiac trunk, right? We have a structure that is called as the celiac trunk. Ab mujhe batao, celiac trunk, okay, towards the liver, it will give which branch, beta? Towards the liver, it will give which, which branch? Yes, the celiac trunk will give, yes. Very good, it is the, tell me, it is the, ha. Ye sa branch hai towards the liver, it will be the common hepatic artery. Common hepatic artery. Okay, it is the common hepatic artery. Very good, very good. Emma the Booker, very good, beta. Now, this common hepatic artery will divide into two. Yes, hepatic artery, common hepatic artery. Hai. It will divide into two. Okay, it will divide into two. We already know we have the hepatic artery proper that will go towards the liver and we have another vessel that will go behind this duodenum okay and that that vessel everyone should know yes tell me yeah this is the yeah we have the gastro duodenal artery gastro duodenal artery now till now till now beta you can identify that 
two structures are going behind the first part of the duodenum can you tell me beta two structures are going behind the first part of the duodenum can you name them beta i'm just talking about the first part okay, i'm just talking about the first part yes yes very good gastrointestinal artery very good very good beta and my topic are very good yes ha huh. कॉमन बाइल टैक्ट एंड द गैस्ट्रोड्यूनल आर्टरी तो अगर मैं पोस्टीरियर रिलेशन पूछू फर्स्ट पार्ट का तो इज इट क्लियर बेटा अब इसके अलावा इसके अलावा वन मोर थिंग या यू ऑलरेडी नो यस 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 कॉमन बाइल टैक्ट एंड सिर्फ फर्स्ट पार्ट के पीछे देखो बेटा ये पूरा का पूरा क्या है फर्स्ट पार्ट है ना सो यस यू ऑलरेडी नो बेटा कि वी हैव या Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You already know that we have the formation of portal vein. Formation of portal vein occurs where, beta? Occurs behind the dash of dash. Batayye. Formation of the portal vein occurs. Yeah. Suppose this is the superior mesenteric vein. Okay. This is the superior mesenteric vein, and you already know that we have. this splenic vein okay this is the splenic vein yeah fada fada se bata do yeah it will occur behind the neck of the pancreas beta it will occur behind the neck of the pancreas and beta this portal vein this portal vein will go behind the first part of the duodenum to reach the liver okay to reach the liver so this is the portal vein this is the portal vein so posteriorly yes posteriorly we have three yeah <coughs> posteriorly we can see three parts beta posteriorly fatafat se bata do posterior relation mein kya kya dekhne ko mil raha hai chal jaldi se teenon ke naam likh do chat box mein agar tumhe samajh aa gaya to it's very easy for you to write down the names also posterior relations now when i say posterior relations yeah we can see firstly we have this yeah gastrointestinal artery gastrointestinal artery the first part ke piche se kya kya yeah common bile duct common bile duct and the third part beta it is the portal vein it is the portal vein posterior relations of first part of the duodenum kitna clear hai chal ab mujhe ha chal theek hai hmm ab ठीक है एंटीरियरली बता दो बेटा एंटीरियरली क्या प्रेजेंट है जल्दी से चार्ट बॉक्स के अंदर बताओ व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट एंटीरियरली हाँ बिल्कुल सही है आदित्य बिल्कुल सही है तानिया बिल्कुल सही है विकी वेरी गुड बेटा व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट एंटीरियरली चलो यहाँ पे पोस्टीरियर रिलेशन हमने तो बना के देख लिया अब मुझे बता दो कि एंटीरियरली क्या प्रेजेंट है येस वेरी गुड कैन यू सी द नेक ऑफ द गोल्ड ब्लैडर येस एंटीरियरली वी हैव the neck of the gall bladder along with that beta if you have not noticed we have the yeah quadrate lobe of the liver as well maine bataya tha na usko pura upar karke dikha rahe pichle wali picture mein we just try to pull it up and we are just showing that so remember we have the quadrate lobe of the liver quadrate lobe of the liver yes yes now beta ab mujhe bataiye सुपीरियरली क्या प्रेजेंट होगा चलिए डायग्राम देखो और बताओ कि ये फर्स्ट पार्ट है फर्स्ट पार्ट के ऊपर क्या प्रेजेंट है बेटा विच ओमेंटम इज देयर
विच मोमेंटम इज देयर बेटा यस एवरीवन इज राइट या तान्या वेरी गुड बेटा इट इज द लेसर मोमेंटम लेसर मोमेंटम एंड रिमेंबर वी हैव a foramen that is called as the epiploic foramen that we have to remember it is the only opening between the lesser sac and the greater sac maine bataya tha na lesser sac aur greater sac there is an only opening okay and that opening it is called as the epiploic foramen yes yes apart from that beta inferiorly bata do thoda sa dimag lagao aur batao first part ke niche kya present hoga इनफीरियरली बता दो क्या प्रेजेंट है हाँ दिमाग लगाओ ये फर्स्ट पार्ट ये रहा ठीक है ये रहा फर्स्ट पार्ट इसके नीचे क्या प्रेजेंट है वॉट इज दिस हेड ऑफ द पेनक्रियास तो है उसके ऊपर हेड ऑफ द पेनक्रियास के ऊपर भी कुछ है ना ये क्या प्रेजेंट है ये हाँ ग्रेटर मोमेंटम वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा सो यू शुड बी अवेयर डार्ट इनफीरियरली वी हैव द हेड And the neck of the pancreas, head and neck of pancreas, and along with that we have the greater omentum. Along with that we have the greater omentum. Greater omentum. Yes, everyone is right. Fun mode, Tanya. Fun mode. Yeah, Usman. Very good. Toki. Very good. Very good. Fada fada. Take thumbs up. Take to ki first part of the duodenum is clear to everyone. First part of the duodenum is clear to everyone. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Chali. Let's let's start with the second part of the duodenum. Let's start with the second part of the duodenum. Yes, Aditya says yes. It's clear. Angel, Sanjana, very good, very good, beta. Full energy के साथ जवाब देते रहो. Vicky, Chaudhary, yes. Greater momentum वाला part ठीक है, beta. Very good. हाँ. Anakala, Rutika, very good. Perfect. चल चल. बाकी भी जवाब देते रहो. Please reply so that it likes. Yeah. One more says yes, yes, yes. चल. बेटा सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूटम अब मुझे खुद बता दो इट विल बिगिन एट द लेवल ऑफ व्हाट बेटा सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ ड्यूटम इट विल बिगिन एट द लेवल ऑफ व्हाट चलिए बताइए बताइए इट विल बिगिन एट द लेवल ऑफ एल वन यस इट विल बिगिन एट द लेवल ऑफ एल वन दैट इज द एल वन लुम्बार वर्टिप्रा या लुम्बार वर्टिप्रा वन लुम्बार वर्टिप्रा वन ओके Now can anyone label these parts for me? What is this A? What is this? Yeah, <clears throat> B and what is this C and what is this D? Chali. A B C D. Fata fata se label karke bata do. Yes, Rabia. Uh, thank you for the love and respect that you are showing from yeah Pakistan. Chali. Ha. ये फटाफट से बता दो सत्यश्री बिल्कुल सही है बेटा सिस्टिक डक्ट है गोल्ड ब्लैटर है ना ये तो गोल्ड ब्लैटर हो गया तो इसका क्या हो जाएगा सिस्टिक डक्ट हाँ चलो तानिया बिल्कुल ठीक है हिपैटिक डक्ट हो गया नेक्स्ट वाला वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड हाँ चलो ये क्विज के आंसर से एक साथ टाइप कर दो फटाफट से तब तक आई जस्ट कंप्लीट द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इट एंड एट द लेवल ऑफ एल ओके एल थ्री कर्विंग टू फॉर्म द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द न्यूडम यस वर्ण कश्यप बिल्कुल ठीक है राइट एंड लेफ्ट हेपैटिक डक्ट हा कॉमन हेपैटिक डक्ट हो जाएगा फिर ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है कॉमन बाइल डक्ट और ये जो कॉमन बाइल डक्ट है बेटा इट इज ओपनिंग इन विच पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूडनम द कॉमन बाइल डक्ट ओपन इन विच पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूडनम इसका भी आंसर दे दो चार्ट बॉक्स में ये इट इज द कॉमन हेपैटिक डक्ट बिल्कुल ठीक है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एकदम सब फर्स्ट क्लास है Yes, Tanya. It is the second part of the duodenum. It is the second part of the duodenum. चलो ठीक है. पता चल गया. L1 पे शुरू होता है. L3 पे खत्म होगा. इतना clear है. ठीक है. Now, peritoneum. It is covered by peritoneum only anteriorly. Okay. It is covered by peritoneum only anteriorly, except its middle part, which is devoid of peritoneum. बेटा. Middle part में peritoneum present नहीं होता है. Okay. And it is directly related to transverse colon. And it is directly related to transverse colon. हमें पता है ना transverse colon होता है, ठीक है? ये transverse colon है, ascending colon होता है, descending colon होता है. तो transverse colon, okay. अगर मैं पूछूं, yes, Ahmed Abu कर, you are right, बेटा. अगर मैं पूछूं, अभी तुम्हें मैं एक relation बता दिया. Second part of the duodenum, anteriorly. If we talk about the middle part of the second part of the duodenum. 
it is related directly to the transverse colon okay it is related directly to the transverse colon baki part par peritoneum present hai theek hai chal now coming on to the relations beta coming on to the relations now look at the picture beta look at the picture <coughs> okay anteriorly kya present hoga batao beta anterior relation first or second part ka almost same jaldi se bata do what is the anterior relation that you will see over here सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूबनम उस्मान बिल्कुल ठीक है यस एंटीरियर रिलेशन तुम्हें क्या क्या देखने को मिलेगा बेटा सबसे पहले तो ये गोल ब्लैडर देखने को मिलेगा ठीक है सबसे पहले तो आपको गोल ब्लैडर देखने को मिलेगा ठीक है थोड़ा सा पार्ट ठीक है वी विल हैव व्हिच लोब ऑफ द लिवर बेटा ठीक है बट इसको करेक्टली लिखेंगे तो इट इज द राइट लोब ऑफ द लिवर ओके वी विल सी ट्रांसवर्स कोलोन We will see transverse colon आगे की तरफ देखो ये transverse colon दिख रहा होगा तुम्हें बेटा ये transverse colon है अगर तुम ध्यान से देखोगे तो ये सिर्फ middle part पे present है so it is present in the middle part it is present in the middle part okay and apart from that बेटा you should be uh, you should remember that we have coils of jejunum देखो जितना दिखता है उतना ही याद करो अगर ये नहीं याद होगा तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं कॉइल्स ऑफ जेजुनम भी प्रेजेंट होते हैं ओके वी हैव कॉइल्स ऑफ जेजुनम डेट आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट बेटा अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ओके नाउ लेटरली बताओ क्या प्रेजेंट होगा लेटरली बताओ क्या प्रेजेंट होगा लेटरल देखो बॉडी का मिड लाइन ये हो क्या तो मीडियल ये है और लेटरल क्या हो जाएगा ये तो ऑब्वियसली बात है कि इसके साइड में तुम्हें क्या देखने को मिलेगा जल्दी से बताओ यस उस्मान लेटरली बताइए या वी हैव दिस फ्लेक्शर ओवर हियर वी हैव दिस फ्लेक्शर ओवर हियर बेटा इसको हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं राइट कोलिक फ्लेक्शर बोलते हैं ना राइट कोलिक फ्लेक्शर ऑफ कोलॉन Yes, right. Colic flexure of colon. We will see. बताओ बेटा क्या देखने को मिलेगा इसके साथ लेटरल साइड पे क्या दिख रहा है असेंडिंग कोलॉन लेटरल साइड पे क्या देखने को मिलेगा असेंडिंग कोलॉन असेंडिंग कोलॉन राइट असेंडिंग कोलॉन ओके और थोड़ा सा साठ देखने को मिलता है इन फ्रंट ऑफ द राइट किडनी ठीक है देखो असेंडिंग कोलॉन है फिर राइट कोलिक फ्लेक्शर आ जाता है ना ये वाला पार्ट आ गया ठीक है विच इज कवर्ड बाय द लिवर ओके और फिर यू ऑलरेडी नो मीडियली क्या देखने को मिलेगा बेटा अब ये तो मुझे बताने की भी जरूरत नहीं है फटाफट से चैट बॉक्स में आंसर बता दो कि मीडियली आप लोग को क्या देखने को मिलेगा मीडियल मीडियल मतलब इस साइड आपको क्या देखने को मिलेगा चलो इस साइड आपको क्या देखने को मिलेगा यहाँ तो बना ही नहीं हुआ है क्या देखने को मिलेगा यहाँ पे यस यस वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बेटा इट इज द हेड ऑफ द पेन जो दिख रहा है वही बोलो वट एवर यू कैन सी जस्ट एटलीस्ट स्पीक दैट पार्ट इट इज द हेड ऑफ पेनक्रियास ओके इट इज द हेड ऑफ द पेनक्रियास यस एंड You can see the superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric vein, right? So yes, yes. Medially, what we will have superior ah uh, mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric vein. Okay, the superior yeah. Shall you? Okay. Can anyone tell me about the ampulla of water that also opens in the second part of the duodenum? So medially, you will also find an ampulla of water, okay? And this ampulla of water is hepato pancreatic ampulla, okay? It is the hepato pancreatic ampulla that opens in the second part of the duodenum. That opens in the second part of the duodenum. इतना क्लियर है एंटीरियर लेटरल और मीडियल रिलेशंस क्लियर है बेटा तो आई विल ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम फॉर द पोस्टीरियर रिलेशंस बताइए जल्दी से इतना क्लियर है 
सेकेंड पार्ट की बात कर रहे हैं अभी हम वी आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेकेंड पार्ट चलिए एक थम्सअप दे दो चार बॉक्स में इफ इट इज क्लियर यस आदित्य सेफ यस इट इज क्लियर चल बाकी सब तानिया से यस तो पोस्टीरियर रिलेशन के लिए आई विल जस्ट गिव यू अ डायग्राम राइट या आई जस्ट गिव यू अ डायग्राम यस हाँ अब देखो इस पिक्चर में तुम्हें क्या देखने को मिल रहा है चलो एंटीरियर रिलेशंस देखने को मिल रहा है तो अब ये देखो ये सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ ड्यूडनम ध्यान से देखो ये सेकंड पार्ट है ड्यूडनम का सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ ड्यूडनम ये कौन सा कोलोन है ट्रांसफर्स कोलोन है जो एंटीरियरली प्रेजेंट है आगे की तरफ प्रेजेंट है अगर इसके साइड में जाएंगे तो यहां पे क्या है राइट कोलिंग फ्लेक्शन साइड में लेटरल साइड पे और ट्रांसफर्स कोलॉन आगे है और नीचे क्या है ये असेंडिंग कोलॉन तो ये सब कहा प्रेजेंट है लेटरल साइड पे यस दीज आर ऑल प्रेजेंट ऑन द लेटरल साइड तो विकी सुशांति का वेरी गुड दीज आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द लेटर लेटरल साइड लेटरल साइड लेटरल है ठीक है अब या एंड इवन ओवर हियर यू कैन सी देड ऑफ द पेनक्रियास मीडियल साइड पे हेड एंड द नेक ऑफ द पेन क्रिया ओवर हियर राइट और यहीं पर क्या प्रेजेंट होता है वेसल्स द सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक आर्टरी एंड द वेल्स राइट यस चलो इतना क्लियर हो गया तो अब पोस्टीरियर रिलेशंस देख लेते हैं हाँ पोस्टीरियर रिलेशंस के लिए वी हैव टू जस्ट ड्रॉ वन डायग्राम नाउ या पोस्टीरियर रिलेशंस ऑफ मैं सारी पार्ट्स का बता दूंगा बट आई विल नॉट ड्रॉ द डायग्राम अगेन बट या इट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट एज वेल ओके सो यस ओके यू ऑलरेडी नो डैट वी हैव टू किडनीज ओवर हियर राइट वी हैव द टू किडनीज We have the two kidneys. <coughs> Now, beta, you are very well aware that the kidneys will, yeah, the hilum will land up in the ureter part, right? So yes, I'll, I'll draw it with yeah. So the kidneys are these bean-shaped organs, and we can easily see the ureters coming out. Right, the ureters. Now, beta, you already know this is the right kidney. Okay, this is the right kidney. now it is very important to demarcate it as right and left because relations you shouldn't confuse beta this is the right ureter right ureter and this is the left ureter left ureter right now <clears throat> yes we already know that we have one vein over here can you tell me the vein which is supplying to the kidney directly the major vein which is supplying to the kidney yes tell me i mean which is draining the blood from the kidney Yes, yes, beta. It is the inferior vena cava. Very good, beta. It is the inferior vena cava, and we already know the aorta, abdominal aorta. Okay, that is also there. So yes, I have made one branch. So let's draw this also. 
and we have the iota as well. Now, can anyone tell me the name of the branch which is supplying to the kidney? The branch of the abdominal iota which is supplying to the kidney in the chat box? Yes. So, this is the iota, or I can simply say the abdominal iota. Hmm. Chalo, batao, batao, fad se batao. Haan. Hmm. So yes, yes, abdominal. हाँ वो वाला तो ठीक है. मैं तो ये पूछ रहा हूँ ये वाला तो सर. कि इस vein का नाम तो सबको पता ही है. It will be the right renal vein. Yeah, and this will be the right renal artery this will be the right renal artery right so this one will be yeah the left renal vein sorry left renal artery and this one will be the left renal vein left renal vein yes everyone is right everyone is right basic structures have local pata chal gaya. over here we have like two muscles that you have to draw beta okay so we have this right psoas major muscle psoas major muscle and over here yeah we have the left so as major muscle. So as major muscle. Now, Peter, if I just if I just try to draw the duodenum over here, okay? If I just try to highlight the duodenum with a darker color so that it's like uh... so remember beta, yeah. <sighs> The duodenum is somewhat like this. Now, Peter, apply your knowledge and tell me which are the parts which are lying below the second part. So, you already know. Yeah. From here to here is the second part. So, which are the parts which are lying posteriorly, Peter? The second part, tell me, guys. Second part, tell me. Which are the parts which are lying posteriorly? Yes. Huh, when adult vessels, I'll, I'll, I'll draw for you. Yeah. Yeah, we have the right kidney. Okay. So the posterior relations, you should know. Yeah. We have the... <clears throat> very good. It is the right... Huh. It is the right kidney. Okay. Okay. Right renal vessels. Very good. Right renal vessels. Now, when I say right renal vessels, beta, I'm talking about the arteries and the veins. Arteries and the veins. A small part of the inferior vena cava, or I can say the edge of inferior vena cava is also there. Edge of inferior vena cava. Yes. Now, we have the right psoas major muscle, which is coming from behind. Yeah, right psoas major muscle major muscle okay and yeah right so as major muscle apart from that we have the 
beginning of the ureter okay we have the beginning of the ureter or the fifth part you can write it is the beginning of ureter beginning of ureter is it clear to everyone beta is it clear to everyone just give me a thumbs up in the chat box beta if it is clear to everyone yes just give me a thumbs up in the chat box if it is clear to everyone Chalo, Tanya says, yes, it's clear, sir. It's clear. So, posterior relations of the second part is also done. Yeah, the so second part I have already completed. All the relations I have just told you, beta. Okay? Yeah, very good. Anakala, Angel, Surveen, very good. Very good, beta. Aditya, very good. So, relations of the second part is also done. Now, coming on, uh, this, this is the second part where you can see, like, the posterior relations. So, yeah. Coming on to the third part of the duodenum. Coming on to the third part of the duodenum. Yes, everyone is right. Sanchana. Uh, yeah. So here just leave it. Uh, students will come and like they will comment something, something, something. So no need to worry about that. <laughs> yeah. Chalo. Jaldi se bata 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 complete karte topic. The third part of the duodenum. It is the longest part bata. Four inches long or approximately I have told you it is around 10 centimeters. It is around 10 centimeters. It is covered by peritoneum beta. Yeah, it is covered by peritoneum. Yeah, anteriorly and inferiorly. It is covered by peritoneum anteriorly and inferiorly. Huh. Anteriorly and inferiorly. Now coming on to the relations of the third part of the duodenum. Relations of the third part. Beta third part kuch is tarike se hai. ये थर्ड पार्ट ओके अब यू गाइस विल टेल मी नाउ यू गाइस विल टेल मी सुपीरियरली व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट सुपीरियरली व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट थर्ड पार्ट के ऊपर क्या प्रेजेंट होता है ये थर्ड पार्ट है बेटा ऊपर तुम्हें क्या दिख रहा है व्हाट यू कैन सी सुपीरियरली बेटा बताइए व्हाट यू कैन सी सुपीरियरली यस पेंक्रियास वेरी गुड और मोस्ट प्रिसाइसली इट इज द हेड ऑफ द पेंक्रियास इट इज द हेड ऑफ द पेंक्रियास इंफीरियरली बता दो बेटा क्या देखने को मिलेगा इंफीरियरली वी हैव कॉइल्स ऑफ जेजुनम जेजुनम यस इंफीरियरली वी वी हैव कॉइल्स ऑफ जेजुनम Anteriorly also, beta. Aage ki taraf, you will also have coils of jejunum, right? Okay, we have the root of mesentery. And we have superior mesentric vessels. Now, when I say superior mesentric vessels, I'm talking about the arteries and the veins. You already know the superior mesentric artery and the veins runs in front of the third part of the duodenum. Okay, it runs in the front of the third part of the duodenum. Okay, so yes. Ab posteriorly bata do beta. Okay, posteriorly bata is diagram ko dekhe jaldi se. Posteriorly, third part ke piche kaun si cheez aapko dekhne ko mil rahi hai? Third part of the duodenum, what you can see posteriorly? Piche ki taraf kya dekh rahe hai third part ke? See the diagram and tell me. Yes. Ah. Posteriorly, now from right to left. Chalo, bilkul starting se start karte, right to left. Right to left aapko jana hai. Hai, right se left ki taraf chayenge hum log. Right se left ki taraf chayenge. So yeah, the very first thing you see, it is the right soas major muscle. Okay. We have the right soas major muscle. Right psoas major muscle. Yes. We have the right ureter. We have the inferior vena cava. Yes, everyone is right. Everyone is right. I can see everyone commenting. Yes, it is the inferior vena cava. Yes. We have the abdominal iota. We have the abdominal iota and the one which I forgot to draw beta over there, which are the branches coming from the abdominal iota. It is the right 
gonadal vessels now when i say gonadal vessels it is the arteries at the vein in males it will be the testicular artery and testicular vein in females it will be ovarian arteries and ovarian vein right so that is something that we have to remember okay is the relations of the third part of the duodenum clear to everyone is the relations of the third part of the duodenum clear to everyone better just give me a thumbs up in the chat box if it is clear to everyone over here yeah ha ah, toki very good very good beta yes you are right 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 chale chale ek thumbs up de dijiye fada fat se chat box ke andar yeah ek thumbs up de dijiye toki satyashree very good very good <coughs> aditya tanya very good surveen very good very good sushantika very good perfect perfect beta now coming on to the fourth part it is the shortest part of the duodenum and it is approximately 1 inch long or i can simply say 2.5 cm right 1 inch 2.5 cm okay termination beta you should remember it ends by curving flex uh, forwards to form the tell me it is the which flexor beta i have already told you it is the duodeno jejunal flexure duodenum kaha end hoga duodenal jejunal flexure at the left side of obviously baat hai right ye tha aur left ye tha so it will end on the left side of the l2 vertebra it will end on to the left side of the l2 vertebra now coming on to the relations of the fourth part coming on to the relations of the fourth part beta so you should remember antero laterally antero laterally basically you can see the coils of jejunum okay aage ki taraf or lateral side pe we have the coils of the jejunum yeah we have the coils of the jejunum yes medially medially now when i say medially it is uh, okay to the right part pe बॉडी का मिडलाइन तो यही होगा ना और इस तरफ जाएंगे क्योंकि ये तो फोर्थ पार्ट तो लेफ्ट की तरफ आ गया तो ये टुवर्ड्स द राइट हो जाता है मिड लाइन सो मिडली टू द राइट वी हैव ओके टेल मी बेटा व्हाट यू विल गेट टेल मी क्या प्रेजेंट होगा ये क्या दिख क्या रहा है आपको ये व्हाट इज दिस स्ट्रक्चर बेटा ओवर हियर व्हाट इज दिस येलो कलर स्ट्रक्चर हां बता दो यस it is the uncinate process of pancreas it is the uncinate process of pancreas you already know you suppose this is the duodenum wala part okay i'm just drawing it roughly beta so agar ye fourth part hai to yahan pe you already know we have the uncinate process okay we have the uncinate process so this is like this so uh medially towards the right side we have the uncinate process of pancreas okay we have the uncinate process fourth part ke medial side pe we have the uncinate process of pancreas <clears throat> uncinate process of pancreas we have abdominal aorta also okay we have abdominal aorta abdominal aorta we have the abdominal aorta hmm chali posterior relations bata do again see the same diagram and tell me what is the posterior relations guys now see this diagram beta again and tell me behind the fourth part what you can see we have which muscle beta so just look at the same diagram and try to answer the question yes posterior relations we have the medial border of the left psoas major muscle we have the medial border of the left psoas major muscle we have left ureter we have left gonadal vessels now 
you can also see beta uh, these yellow colored structures these are sympathetic chains okay so this is like i'm not drawn but no need to remember also like if you want you can these are the left sympathetic chains right yes left sympathetic chains yes gonadal vessels yeah the left uh, arteries and the left veins the uh, gonadal arteries and the gonadal veins yes everyone is right so i hope i hope beta all the four parts are clear to everyone beta jaldi se ek thumbs up de do all the four parts are clear to everyone yeah just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that all the four parts and the relation is clear to everyone yes aditya very good abbas hi beta priti very good anakala very good aditya angel matthews vicky very good sarveen very good beta very good very good finally tokir very good understood everyone like perfect <clears throat> shall sanjana very good very good beta hmm shall now coming on to the next topic that is the suspensory muscle of the duodenum or it is also called as the ligament of treats okay it is also called as the ligament of treats it's very very important beta you should remember that for example if i just try to draw this you already know that we have two crusts of the diaphragm okay we have two crusts of the diaphragm so remember that this is the left crust of the diaphragm beta surgery will become very easy if you like understand the anatomy very good otherwise you will land up like rectification hone lagega ki ye pata hi nahi muscle kaun si surgery mein jaake wo to explain nahi karenge so it is the right crust of the diaphragm okay and between them we have the aortic opening and you already know that is the opening for or uh, that is called as the aortic hiatus and we have this abdominal aorta coming down right so yes this is the abdominal aorta wala part i'm not drawing it completely yes it will extend down so i'm, I'm like leaving it over there we have the aortic hiatus i'm just leaving it over there so yes <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> ha so you already know now we have this duodenum Now, duodenum has first, second, third, and fourth part, and this is something which is called as the duodeno-jejunal flexion. This is the second part. This is the first part. This is the third part, and this is the fourth part. And the fourth part ends at the duodeno-jejunal flexion. Okay. The fourth part ends at the duodeno-jejunal flexion. Now, remember, beta, from the right crust of the diaphragm. Okay. Now, from the right crust of the diaphragm, what will happen? Yeah, from the right crust of the diaphragm. Yeah, there is a fibromuscular band. Okay, it is made up of fibrous tissue and the muscle tissue. A fibromuscular band. Okay. which suspends the duodeno jejunal flexion okay and this fibromuscular band it is named as yeah it is named as the suspensory muscle of duodenum or it is also called as the ligament of treats it is also called as the ligament of treats right now <clears throat> remember beta it is a fibromuscular structure okay it is a fibro muscular band it is a fibro muscular band which suspends the duodeno jejunal flexion okay it arises from the right crust of the diaphragm it arises from the right crust of the diaphragm close to the esophagus it descends behind the pancreas to attach to the posterior aspect of the duodeno jejunal flexion and yeah to the duodeno jejunal flexion and now tell me beta which yeah and yeah and the posterior parts of the duodenum right and the posterior parts of the duodenum yeah the fourth part 
yeah and the third part apart from that now beta apart from that <coughs> this now this ligament of treats if we talk about the upper part beta agar kisi ko i have to just uh, if suppose chalo let us let us just draw this if suppose this is the ligament of treats so remember that the upper part now suppose this is the ligament of treats i don't have space over there so i'm writing it over here ligament of treats yeah remember beta the upper part upper one third it is actually made up of skeletal muscles it is made up of skeletal muscles okay the middle one third it is made up of elastic fibers it is made up of elastic fibers and the lower one third it is made up of smooth muscles the lower one third it is made up of smooth muscles okay the lower one third it is made up of smooth muscles so yes it contains striated smooth muscle fibers and elastic fibers so that is something that you have to know apart from that beta you should know that ligaments of the treats it's the landmark point okay it is the landmark point i would say yeah it is the landmark point okay so above the ligament of treats okay any bleeding which is occurring in the git tract it is called as the upper gi bleeding and below this ligament it is called as the lower gi bleeding gastrointestinal bleeding so gastrointestinal bleeding is divided into upper gi bleeding and lower gi bleeding just on the basis of this particular ligament just on the basis of this particular ligament i hope this point is clear to everyone yes i hope this point is clear to everyone chalo fada fada se ek thumbs up de do if this is clear to everyone yeah if this topic is clear so i can just mention beta over here above ligament of treats ha tumara pass okay beta very good very good above the ligament of treats we have upper gi bleeding upper gi bleeding and below the ligament of treats we have lower gi bleeding so this is the landmark beta this is clinical integration that you should remember yes fun mode anakala very good yes tanya surveen sanjana aditya we very good very good beta i hope this is clear yes takir very good very good chal perfect perfect now coming on to the next uh yeah this is the diagram which is given in the relevant atlas i'll just share the diagrams with you after the class now coming on to the arterial supply of the duodenum yes coming on to the arterial supply of the duodenum so just one diagram beta so you already know suppose this is the duodenum part now can anyone tell me that which arteries will supply the duodenum now can anyone tell me which arteries will supply the duodenum yeah now <clears throat> we already know we have something that is called as the hmm. this is the yeah common hepatic artery okay yes gastrointestinal artery very good we have the common hepatic artery now this common hepatic artery okay will give branch okay one to the liver that is called as the yeah hepatic artery proper that i'm not concerned it will again give a branch to the duodenum and this branch will learn i mean will go behind the first part of the duodenum yeah and this is called as the gastro duodenal artery so this artery it is the gastro duodenal artery gastro duodenal artery 
So common hepatic artery will give two branches. One is the prop hepatic artery proper and gastrodutinal artery. Gastrodutinal artery. Okay. Now, from the gastrodutinal artery, one artery will come and supply a very small portion on the first part, and that is called as the yeah. This artery is called as the supraduodenal artery. This is called as the supraduodenal artery. Okay. Confusion mat hona arrow se arrows are not wo wale kya kya them. So I'll just draw it with ye marking ke liye. I'm just drawing it with black, right? Okay. So itna clear hai sabko? Itna to clear hai sabko? Ha. Now this. This gastrodutinal artery, yeah, it will give one branch to the yeah greater curvature, and it is called as the right gastroepiploic artery. So no need over here because we have stomach nahi pare, right gastroepiploic artery. We have the right gastroepiploic artery, yeah, and we have one branch. Okay, so yeah. And that is something which is called as the yeah superior pancreatico duodenal artery. So this is superior pancreatico duodenal artery. Superior pancreatico duodenal artery. So this gastro duodenal artery will give two branches, right? Gastro epiploic artery and superior pancreatico duodenal artery. Now this superior pancreatico duodenal artery. Okay, so I think this is clear that this is right gastroepiploic and this is the superior pancreatico duodenal artery. Now this superior pancreatico duodenal artery will give off branches to the anterior and posterior parts. Okay, of um, right, it will divide into the anterior branches, and we have the Posterior branches, right? We have the posterior branches. We have the posterior branches, and while dividing, beta, <coughs> as they divide, these will give. Now, can anyone tell me the name of these small, small branches, beta? Can anyone tell me the name of the small, small branches? Yes, they will also supply like yeah. These are नाम बता दो बेटा इसको क्या बोलते हैं हाँ एंटीरियर सुपीरियर वाला तो ठीक है एंटीरियर एंड चलो अच्छा ये स्मॉल स्मॉल ब्रांचेस का नाम पूछ रहा हूं मैं तो ये दोनों तो ठीक है ये तो है एंटीरियर एंड पोस्टीरियर डिविजन of superior pancreatic duodenal artery okay it is the anterior and posterior division of superior pancreatic duodenal artery aur ye choti choti branches hoti hai beta these are called as arcuate branches inko hum log kya bolte hain arcuate branches right Of superior pancreatic or duodenal arteries. एक आगे की तरफ देखिए, पीछे वाली पीछे की तरफ देखिए, ठीक है? Yes. Now, we already know we have the superior mesenteric artery, right? We have this. Okay. Let us let us just try to draw it. So this is the superior mesenteric artery which is coming in front of the third part. Superior mesenteric artery and while descending down, beta. while descending down it will give two branches okay it will give two branches can anyone tell me the name of these two branches and they will anastomose over here yes now these are yes these are yeah anterior and posterior division of inferior
pancreatico duodenal artery inferior pancreatico duodenal artery yes to ki khan very good arcuate arteries are arcuate branches we both are right so superior mesenteric artery will gives like yeah inferior pancreatico duodenal artery and again they will branch and they finally will give arcuate branches to the parts also right so it is like this ha ha चलो इतना क्लियर हो गया सब लोगों को आर्टीरियल सप्लाई क्लियर है सब लोगों को आई होप द आर्टीरियल सप्लाई इज क्लियर फटाफट से एक थम्स अप दे दो चार्ट बॉक्स में यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर सुपीरो पेनक्रियाटिको ड्यूटिनल आर्टरी इंफीरियर पेनक्रियाटिको ड्यूटिनल आर्टरी सुपीरो पेनक्रियाटिको ड्यूटिनल आर्टरी कमिंग फ्रॉम द गैस्ट्रो ड्यूटिनल आर्टरी राइट कमिंग फ्रॉम द कॉमन हेपेटिक आर्टरी एंड इंफीरो पेनक्रियाटिक कमिंग फ्रॉम द सुपीरियर मिसेंट्रिक आर्टरी Yes, Abbas, very good, bit, very good, beta. Others, I hope it is clear to everyone. Yes. So Shantika, very good. Vicky, very good, very good, beta. I have studied in detail. I have studied arterial supply. So every time, so yeah. Yeah, I hope this is clear now. Yes. Now coming on to the yeah venous drainage, beta. Venous drainage. If my self, you have to know, and you already know. Yeah. We have the जो आर्टरीज थी या सुपीरो पेनक्रियाटिको ड्यूडनल वेन्स एंड वी हैव द इनफीरो पेनक्रियाटिको ड्यूडनल वेन्स राइट यस Apart from that, you should know they will all drain in the blood into the major veins. That is the splenic veins, superior mesenteric vein, and portal vein. So portal vein, you already know it is formed by the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein. So that is about the venous drainage. Coming on to the lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage also in the stomach. I have explained. Okay, so there is no need of diagram over here. You should remember we have the pyloric lymph nodes. Okay, superior mesenteric pyloric lymph nodes. We have superior mesenteric lymph nodes, lymph nodes, and We have the hepatic lymph nodes. Just a lecture they have is stomach. Ka, so you should be very well aware. If you have seen the lecture of the stomach, already I have discussed about the pyloric lymph nodes, hepatic lymph nodes over there. Okay, so these are the three main lymph nodes which will drain the lymph from the duodenum. Right? Nerve supply, beta. Remember we have sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve supply. We have sympathetic and para sympathetic nerve supply yes sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve supply sympathetic nerve supply it is from like t9 and t10 okay t9 and t10 what is it guys type in the chat box what is it t9 and t10 tell me in the chat box what it is yeah and parasympathetic yes it is from the vagus okay It is from the vagus. Yes. Ha. Shall. ठीक है. Portal वाला तो ठीक था पहले वाला. ठीक है. Fun mode. Hmm. T nine. It is the thoracic spinal nerve nine and the ten one. Right. Now coming on to the last part. That is the interior of the stomach. Okay. Now for the interior of the stomach, beta. Sorry, I'm telling stomach. It is the duodenum, beta. Let us let us just try to draw this tube. Now, beta. <coughs> Now, in the first part, beta. In the first part, you have to remember that there is no. Yeah, there is. Okay. 
Now let us let us just highlight the first part right now. Yeah. Let us just highlight the first part. So remember the first part it is consisting of the smooth muscles. Okay. These are consisting of the smooth muscles or sorry smooth muscle care. It is the smooth mucous membrane. Okay. It is the smooth mucous membrane and it contains no valve of Curcuric. There is no valve of curcuric. Whereas when we compare the rest of the duodenum, when we compare the rest of the duodenum, there will be yeah valve of curcuric which will be present. Yes. Now, <clears throat> okay. Now my question to you people is: Tell me. In the second part of the duodenum, which two ducts will open? Which two ducts will open? Yeah. Which two ducts will open in the second part of the duodenum? Yeah, we have something which is called as the major duodenal papillae, and just a little bit above, we have the minor duodenal papillae. Yeah. Yeah. So we have this minor duodenal papillae. And this is the major duodenal papillae. Now this major duodenal papillae, it is present around like 8 to 10 centimeters, okay, distal to the pylorus. It is present 8 to 10 centimeter distal to the pylorus. And yes. Now, when I say minor and major, the distance between the minor and the major, it is approximately 2 centimeter, guys. Okay, it is approximately 2 centimeters. So yes, minor duodenal papillae, it is like 2 centimeters proximal to the major duodenal papillae, right? So yes. Yeah. Now, in the entire duodenum, I have already told you, yes, we have this valve for curcuring. Yes, so these are the valves of curcuring. These are the folds that are present. And yeah, <clears throat> these valves of curcuring are actually covering the duodenal papillae. And that is something, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it looks like a hoodie, right? Wo hoodie jo aap log ho na, just on your head. It, it looks like a monkey hoodie. So yes, it is like monk's hood. Bolte hai isko. Hai? So yes, it is somewhat like this. Uh, so it is the semi-lunar mucosal fold. Yes. And yes, it somewhat looks like a monk's fold or monk's hood. Right? So yes. I hope this is clear. There's nothing much to discuss in that. So yes, nerve supply, lymphatic, venous, arterial supply, suspensory, um, <clears throat> muscle of the duodenum or ligament, then relations of all the four parts. Okay. Um, and apart from that, we have discussed, yeah, the length, the side shape, beginning, the end, and the parts of the small intestine. I hope guys, today's lecture is clear to each and every one. I hope today's lecture is clear to each and every one. So just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that everything is clear so that I can end the session. Yeah, tomorrow I think which topic you want tomorrow? Spleen, liver, pancreas, what? Just type it in the chat box. Pretty very good. Spe spleen, liver, pancreas, what should I discuss tomorrow, guys? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Pretty very good. Aditya, very good. Sarveen, okay, okay. Liver. Kriti, Kirti says, Kriti says liver. What about rest, guys? What topic like you want me to discuss tomorrow? 
yes uh the notes will be available in the telegram group so yes please yeah go for it spleen okay spleen kar lenge ya spleen kar lete hain main soch raha hu spleen ke sath i should take esophagus also yes i will take esophagus also beta dono to nahi ho payenge <laughs> so spleen or esophagus i'll i'll see yeah yeah spleen and esophagus will be the part for tomorrow and then i'll discuss the liver also then pancreas then extra hepatic biliary apparatus then we'll come on to the yeah other parts as well theek hai chalo jejanam and ilium are like only one or two slides that i have to discuss with you so no need to worry i will discuss this tomorrow itself so the stomach will be complete and the small intestine will be totally complete tomorrow jejanam and ilium only like two slides i have to discuss nothing much to discuss in that okay nothing much to discuss in that so yes i hope it's way clear to everyone yes ha chal theek hai beta good bye good bye good bye hmm chal bye